I was going to do a quick unboxing video on my new Taurus Model 66 357 Magnum revolver with a 7 round capacity. Now, I just want to mention, I previously unboxed and inspected this at the FFL where I discovered a minor defect, which I will point out in this video. So you got your manual. And then you get these two hammer lock keys, which are actually really cool. The handgun itself. And then some more paperwork that they got to give you like warranty information and hazardous lead exposure pamphlet. Let's go ahead and take this out of the bag. Comes with a little cover for the windage elevation adjustment for the rear sight. And then this little safety indicator for the cylinder. As you can see, it's clear. And here it is. It's a seven shot 357 mag revolver. It's really nice. It's great quality for the price. And let me show you really quick how this lock works here. So as you can see with the lock off, you're able to just move the hammer in and out. But the lock set, turn it clockwise, the hammer will not cock back. You can still open the cylinder, just not the hammer. So I just want to kind of, got some snap caps here I'm going to put in there. And so we can take a look at the trigger pull. So here is it locked. See, clearly can't engage it. Turn it counterclockwise and now it's live. So there's the trigger pull. See how light it is with the hammer pulled back. And here it is like this. So now the defect that I came across at my FFL was, see this fiber optic sight up here? If you push it to the left, it slides out of, out of place. So that's kind of worrying to me and I'm worried taking it to the range like that, it's either gonna come out and be off or possibly come out and fall out all the way and get lost. So I actually just got off the phone with Taurus, got done registering my firearm, and I asked them about that, and they told me to just use some super glue or something. So I also went on Reddit and I asked around and got some suggestions for something that would be better than super glue. And I will go ahead and make a video on that after this. Another cool feature about this revolver is not only does it accept 357 mag rounds, it also can fire 38 special out of it, as well as 38 special plus P. I really like how it feels, love the grips, love the sights, except for that minor defect. And yeah, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and check out for more content on this revolver coming out soon.